Welcome to a comprehensive exploration of the dynamic and evolving geopolitical landscape of 2024, where we delve into the intricacies of regional tensions, economic implications, and the future of global markets. In this video, we will unravel the complex situation in the Middle East, examining Iran's growing regional influence and its involvement in conflicts across Iraq, Syria, and Pakistan. We'll look at how Iran's actions, driven by responses to attacks on its soil and its extensive network of proxy forces, are shaping the region. We'll also discuss the critical maritime security concerns in the Red Sea, heightened by the healthy rebellion in Yemen, and explore the escalating violence along the Israeli-Lebanese border, highlighting the delicate balance between maintaining peace and the risk of broader warfare. The unprecedented Saudi-Iran rapprochement deal, facilitated by China, marks a pivotal shift in regional dynamics, challenging traditional U.S. influence and signaling a move towards a multipolar world order. Our journey doesn't stop there. We will dive into the economic ramifications of these geopolitical tensions, with a specific focus on global inflation trends, the impact of Middle Eastern conflicts on world economies, and the precarious situation between Iran and America that teeters on the brink of war. Moving to Europe, we'll dissect the European Union's economic outlook, Balancing optimism with a realistic assessment of challenges like inflation, GDP growth, and labor market trends. This analysis will be critical in understanding how regional conflicts and global issues like climate change could affect the EU's future. Then, we shift our focus to the East, analyzing the tumultuous Chinese stock market and the prospects for Chinese equities. We'll investigate the factors driving market volatility and the potential for recovery, considering the broader implications for the global economy. Finally, we'll bring our attention back to the United States, evaluating the cautious and balanced outlook for the U.S. stock market in 2024. The potential effects of the upcoming election on investor sentiment and market dynamics will be a key point of discussion, offering insights into how political developments could shape economic futures. Join us as we navigate through these critical and interconnected topics, providing a holistic view of the current state of global affairs and what lies ahead in 2024. Before start, can you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel? Your support is really appreciated. Let's start the video by discussing the trending topic, Iran's regional influence and conflicts. Iran has been actively involved in multiple regional conflicts, launching missile strikes on countries including Iraq, Syria, and Pakistan. These actions are seen as responses to attacks on Iranian soil or against Iranian targets. Iran's influence extends through its network of proxy forces. In several Arab countries, which has grown since the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003, these proxies are involved in various conflicts across the region, from Gaza to Yemen, where the Houthi group, backed by Iran, has significantly disrupted Red Sea shipping lanes. The Houthi rebellion in Yemen, closely tied to Iran, poses a significant threat to international shipping through the Red Sea. The U.S., along with European allies, is leading the international response to this threat treating it similarly to the piracy issues off the Somali coast in the 2000s. However, any military action against the Houthis risks unintended consequences and may impede efforts to end the war in Yemen. Violence across the Israeli-Lebanese border has escalated, reaching levels not seen since the 2006 conflict. While a full-scale war has been avoided, the assassination of Hamas deputy leader Saleh Hal, Ruri in Beirut, attributed to Israel, has increased tensions. Israel and Hezbollah have so far avoided a large-scale conflict, but continued military skirmishes raise the risk of broader warfare. Violence in the West Bank has reached its highest levels since the early 2000s. The Palestinian Authority is struggling with credibility issues. An Israeli government policies international security minister Itamar Ben-Gvir and finance minister Bezalel Smotragar focused on settlement expansion and diminishing the prospects of a future Palestinian state. These dynamics contribute to the possibility of further escalation in the region. A major geopolitical event was the unexpected Saudi-Iran rapprochement deal, facilitated by China. This agreement marked a significant shift in regional dynamics, traditionally dominated by U.S. influence. Additionally, the expansion of Thebrik's intergovernmental organization, including new members such as Egypt, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE, reflects a move towards a multipolar world order and a challenge to Western hegemony. The region has also faced environmental issues like earthquakes and floods, highlighting vulnerabilities and disaster preparedness in response. 
Iran's ongoing drought crisis and its impact on regional stability have also been a concern. But what lies ahead for 2024? Share your thoughts in the comment. The outlook for 2024 in the Middle East includes a focus on regional solutions and the USS increased involvement in Middle Eastern politics. Key developments include ongoing negotiations for expanding normalization pacts between Israel and Saudi Arabia and the potential for increased cooperation between Gulf states and Asian powers, environmental issues and technological advancements in sectors like artificial intelligence are also expected to play a significant role in shaping the region's future. Now let's delve into the economic implications of these geopolitical tension. As of 2024, global inflation is projected to decline from an estimated 5.7% in 2023 to 3.9%. However, in about a quarter of all developing countries, inflation is expected to exceed 10%. Since January 2021, consumer prices in developing economies have risen significantly, eroding economic gains made post-COVID-19. Persistently high inflation has had severe impacts, particularly in the least developed countries. The United States is expected to see a drop in GDP growth, while China faces a moderate slowdown. In Europe and Japan, growth rates are forecasted at 1.2% each for 2024. Meanwhile, Africa's growth rate is projected to slightly increase. These economic conditions, coupled with various geopolitical conflicts, continue to present significant challenges to global growth. The ongoing Middle Eastern conflict, including the rerouting of ships away from the Suez Canal and the impacts of U.S. and U.K. airstrikes in Yemen, has influenced these global inflation trends and economic forecasts. The situation highlights the interconnectedness of regional conflicts and global economic health. Economists warn that Iran and America are on the brink of war, with any strike by the coalition on Iranian soil potentially dragging Iran into the conflict. This situation is becoming increasingly tense with the stakes rising rapidly. Now, let's discuss European Union's economic concerns. As of 2024, the European Union's economic outlook appears to be cautiously optimistic, though it's tempered by a variety of challenges and concerns. Eurozone inflation is on a downward trajectory, moving from a high of 10.6% in 2022 to a more moderate rate. In 2023, it stood at 0.9% in October, reflecting a broad base easing across various consumption categories. The overall headline inflation in the eurozone is expected to decrease from 5.6% in 2023 to 3.2% in 2024 and further to 2.2% in 2025. Similarly, in the EU, headline inflation is forecasted to reduce from 6.5% in 2023 to 3.5% in 2024 and to 0.4% in 2025. This decline is primarily attributed to falling energy prices and the effects of monetary policy adjustments. After a period of contraction in marginal growth in 2023, the European economy is expected to experience a modest recovery. Real GDP growth is projected at 0.7% in 2024, slightly up from the 0.5% estimate in 2023. However, the recovery could be muted due to the region's increasing lack of competitiveness and the scaling back of fiscal stimulus. GDP growth for the EU is forecasted to rise to 1.3% in 2024, with the euro area slightly lower at 1.2%. Looking ahead to 2025, growth is expected to strengthen further to 1.7% for the EU and 1.6% for the euro area. The EU labor market showed resilience in the first half of 2023 despite economic slowdowns. Employment rates reached record highs, with the unemployment rate stabilizing at around 6%. Going forward, Employment growth in the EU is projected at 1% in 2023, before easing to 0.4% in both 2024 and 2025. The unemployment rate is expected to remain stable at 6% in 2023 and 2024, decreasing slightly to 5.9% in 2025. The EU general government deficit is projected to decline slightly in 2023 to 3.2% of GDP, with further reductions anticipated in the following years. The EU debt-to-GDP ratio is expected to continue its downward trend in 2023 to 83%, stabilizing above the 2019 level of around 79% in 2024 and 2025. These changes are driven by the phasing out of pandemic-related measures and reductions in energy-related subsidies. The EU's economic outlook is fraught with uncertainties, including the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, tensions in the Middle East, and the impact of climate change. These factors pose significant risks to the region's energy supplies and prices. 
and could influence economic developments in the EU's major trading partners, notably China. Now it is the time to delve into the Chinese stock market turmoil and future of Chinese equities. As we look into the Chinese stock market outlook for 2024, the sentiment seems cautiously optimistic. Goldman Sachs has projected that China's core stock indexes, namely the MSCI China Index, the CSI 300 Index, could see an increase of 12 to 16% in 2024. This growth is anticipated due to a recovery in earnings per share and a rebound in valuations. The optimism stems from improvements in the profitability of China's internet sector and the hardware industry, which are expected to benefit from cost optimization and a global recovery, respectively. Moreover, Goldman Sachs expects China's GDP to grow by 4.8%. In 2024, which is a more optimistic figure compared to the International Monetary Fund's prediction of 4.6% growth. On the other hand, the Chinese stock market has underperformed in comparison to other major global indices in 2023. The economic recovery momentum faltered, with concerns about consumer spending, the real estate market, and continuous decline in imports. These factors led to volatility and a general downturn in the stock market over the year, Despite a series of government policies aimed at stimulating the capital market, the positive impacts were short, lived, and the market did not sustain the initial recovery. Looking ahead to 2024, there is a consensus that the Federal Reserve may have ended its rate hike cycle, which has led to a decline in the 10-year U.S. bond yield. If the U.S. economy cools down and the Federal Reserve opts for rate cuts, and if China's economy stabilizes and picks up, the spread between Chinese and U.S. bond yields could narrow potentially creating opportunities for a structural increase in China's stock market. However, given the global economic headwinds, it is anticipated that while there may be structural opportunities in the Chinese market, a full bull run is unlikely, with more structural fluctuations expected instead. Now, let's look at the U.S. stock market and future of U.S. economy in 2024. As of January 2024, the outlook for the U.S. stock market appears to be one of caution and balance. After a strong performance in 2023, characterized by a notable 25% advance in the S&P 500 index, the market is entering a phase where expectations are more moderate. Analysts from Morgan Stanley suggest that stocks are currently overvalued, and the exuberant rally at the end of 2023 has left little room for error. They caution that corporate earnings estimates for 2024 may be overly optimistic, especially considering the expected tapering in U.S. economic growth. The Federal Reserve's indications of potential rate cuts have bolstered investor confidence. But there is a risk that these expectations might not fully materialize. Consequently, investors are advised to balance their portfolios by focusing on value-style stocks in sectors like financials, industrials, utilities, consumer staples, and healthcare. In terms of specific economic indicators, the finance sector has shown strong performance with companies like Goldman Sachs and PNC Financial Services reporting earnings that exceeded expectations. This has positively impacted their stock prices. However, will prices have seen a decline due to the strengthening U.S. dollar and a cautious approach by the Federal Reserve towards cutting interest rates? This inverse relationship between the U.S. dollar and oil prices is an important factor to consider in market dynamics. Regarding the future of the U.S., particularly in light of the upcoming election, there is anticipation about the potential impact on the stock market. The market can be sensitive to political changes and policies, and the election could bring shifts in investor sentiment and market dynamics. However, the specifics of these changes and their implications for the stock market will largely depend on the election outcomes and subsequent policy directions. Therefore, keeping a close eye on political developments and their potential economic repercussions will be crucial for investors in 2024. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to tap that like button and subscribe so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. Your support is greatly appreciated.